So as you can see, the title is From Captivity to Court, Modern Slavery Survivors and the Criminal Justice System. So in 2013, Operation Angelstoke was initiated to tackle modern slavery and human trafficking in West Yorkshire. It was the most complex investigation of its kind by West Yorkshire Police, leading to the identification of 60 victims and the charging of eight individuals. The case took five years to reach trial and ultimately resulted in an average prison sentence of two and a half years for each defendant. Meanwhile, official figures show that although police recorded crime for modern slavery offences has steadily increased each year since 2015, prosecution and conviction numbers have remained static. Is the UK's criminal justice system managing modern slavery effectively? Throughout interviews with frontline stakeholders and analysis of the UK's anti-modern slavery framework, I set out to explore how well the current approach is working and where it could be improved. My research suggests that there is a tendency to adhere to traditional criminal justice practices which try to make victims fit the system rather than exploring how the system can adapt to the crime. The investigative process, for example, is heavily reliant on witness testimony. However, traumatised and vulnerable individuals do not generally provide statements in a detailed and legally appropriate chronology. This prolongs investigation times, while repeated interviews with the authorities can further traumatise victims. There are, however, some positives to be drawn. Police and Crime Commissioner initiatives have made some strong progress, with the introduction of specialist advocates and multi-partnership working. This greater focus on victim needs and collaborative efforts demonstrates that the criminal justice approach is just one part of a bigger framework. My data also suggests that where victims receive appropriate support before a witness statement is taken, they are more likely to engage with the criminal justice process and provide better evidence. In fact, justice programmes that offer a more inclusive role for victims of serious crimes have consistently shown positive outcomes. They are particularly effective in achieving compensation, which is a crucial objective for many modern slavery victims. By developing a criminal justice approach that supports victims and takes their views into account, the overall system could benefit. As part of a wider anti-modern slavery framework, the criminal justice system does not have to operate in a vacuum. As one of my research participants said, if we start providing victim support that is going to aid recovery, that's going to aid our intelligence and our ability to deal with modern slavery in the first place. Thank you.